Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I put together these frozen theme edible image cookies. Alright guys, so here are the things you're going to need. Your edible printouts, a 3 inch cookie cutter squared, and some sprinkles of any kind as long as they're like snowflakes. Some white raw icing, I'm going to be using sky blue by Wilton for the border, and a tool and some scissors. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so first thing I wanted to show you the images that I ended up choosing. I went on Google and I searched Frozen and I put images and I just chose these here. You can choose whichever ones you like and then I transferred them to an editing program that um, helped me size these to roughly around two, two and a half inches because the cookie cutter is three inches. So the image has to be smaller because also, remember we have to put our border around it. So you have to have enough room. You can't make your picture too big or else um, it'll take up the entire cookie and then you won't um, be able to put your border. And if you do put the border, you're going to go over your picture. So that's why I want to make it smaller than my cookie cutter. That way I can put my border around it and not take up so much of my image. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut each of these little squares and I'm going to stick them in a, a Ziploc plastic bag and that way I can um, have the sheet uh, away from air so it won't get exposed so they won't dry out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut each of these little squares out. That's what you're going to be doing. Just cut each little square out like this and do them to uh, do that to all of them and then you're going to go ahead and put them in a little plastic bag and then now we can get um, started putting the icing on our cookies and then I will show you how to put these on. Alright guys, so I have here all my cutouts and I'm going to be leaving them in this little plastic bag like I said to keep them fresh and from drying out. Uh, this is optional but I kind of I kind of recommend it. It'll help guide you to where you're going to be putting your icing and how far out to go. So I'm going to make a dot with my edible marker at the end of each corner there. So this will give me sort of a, a guideline to how far out to go with my icing. So when I peel this off and I put it on there, I have exactly that square amount of icing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and peel off the backing and set it on top. I use my tool. You will use that tool pretty much the whole time. And then I'm going to go first of all all around the edges to press it down. I'm going to make sure those corners are pushed in or else they'll stick out. And then I get the side of it and slightly press it down to make sure that it's stuck on there. Okay, and that's it. So I'm going to set that aside and do that to all my cookies. Let it dry for a few minutes and then I'm going to go around with the border. I have here a number 16 tip which is going to give me that shell border. And what I want to do is just go around the square and then I'm going to add um, two of the snowflakes, the jumbo snowflake. And I'm going to put one in each corner and I'm going to do two snowflakes on one, one on the other. You can do whatever pattern you you like. You can add more or don't add any at all. It's up to you. So what I'm going to do is just type the border here. I'm probably going to be in the way. So I just squeeze and pull down, squeeze and pull down, squeeze and pull down. This is a pretty thick consistency, probably thicker than the one I used at the bottom, the white one, because um, I want to retain that shape on that shell. So I'm going to try to make my icing thick. So I'm going to grab one snowflake and I'll put it in one corner and then the other one at the other corner. The blue ones get a little lost in this blue but I didn't want to use uh, two of my white ones because these are kind of pricey and I need them for something else too so I can't really use them all up. And I'm going to use two 
two little snowflakes on one corner and one on the other. You can do two on each side, one on each side, whatever you like. So that is all. And I am going to be using a little bit of this disco dust. I had some of this baby blue color. And I'm just going to add just a little bit. Here's what they look like up close. So you see the glitter there it looks really pretty on there. I'll show you the other ones. Maybe here's Anna. And Olaf. So I hope you like how they turned out. And I will be posting a few more uh, Frozen theme videos because I have so much to do for this uh, Frozen theme party. And I would like to make a video of them that way I can share them with you instead of doing them another day like redo them just to make a video so I'm going to try my best to record them as I go along that way I can um, share them with you guys I have quite a bit of frozen theme things that I have to do so stay tuned for that if you are looking for ideas for a party so I will talk to you soon guys I thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it stay tuned for more and i will probably throw in a few thanksgiving videos in there as well if time permits so i thank you so much for watching guys and i will talk to you soon have a good one guys